Hey guys, welcome back to New Nine Golf. Today we're playing the Olympic Golf Course on Vancouver Island. I just finished golfing and here's what to expect. There was a ton of good shots and a ton of bad shots. You'll have to follow along to see which were good, which were bad. Overall though, it was a lot of fun. Playing on Vancouver Island, this course is beautiful. Such a nice golf course and it's somewhere you can golf year round in Canada. Before you get out of here, make sure you smash subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can see our future videos. Let's go hit that golf ball. All right guys, we're all teed off at uh, the Olympic Club in Victoria. So far, so good. It's always funny playing a course that you've never played before because you're second guessing clubs, and trying to get a look, and this hole is a uh, dog leg to the left. So it was uh, tough to see. Now I've got a crossroads, I assume I go right. Right or left? Left and left. Oh. <laughs> there we go, we have the first fork in the road and we're not sure where we're going. Uh, first tee shot, don't think I hit it oh too well, but uh, it should be in place. So hopefully we have a look here and just decided to play with the men, which is awesome for her. After the starter pointed out that the ladies tee box were forward. Yeah, like so many starters are so sexist. Like, oh yeah, lady, young girl should be playing from the front tees. Jess goes up and just murders it from the uh, white tees. So she showed him, pumped it right in the fairway and uh, looking forward to this round. Here we go. Okay, we're not off to the hottest start. It uh, said 90 degree rule when we got here and I drove down the cart path, went to cut to my ball and my cart shut off. So I was on the furthest part of the fairway and took an approximate distance, took three clubs, I get there and I got the wrong three clubs. So for pace sake, instead of going back to get the right club, I tried to choke down on the longer club and chunked it. <laughs> so bogey start. Really not a great start with the driving range. You couldn't even hit a club more than 200 yards. And then the tee box or the cart isn't getting 90 degree rule. So hopefully the round gets better. It's a beautiful day and I've got good company. So uh, let's try to find some birdies here. Okay, we're off oh, and rolling oh, on the second just got hit by something. Wait, sorry. Just apparently got hit by a bug <laughs> and the world is ending. A bug, oh my gosh. Um, second hole is extremely tight. Like, crazy luck. Oh, wow. yeah. I think I ended up in the bunker, but it's like, you gotta hit, I don't know, nine yards of fairway? <laughs> Super tight, so looks like we got a bunker shot here. Okay, our tee shot found the fairway bunker, and I usually suck out of fairway bunkers. I had 130, and I actually hit probably the best shot I have all year out of a fairway bunker. So, looks like we got a, a I don't know, 12 footer of birdie. So let's go uh, sink a putt. What the hell was that first putt? Didn't make it easy on yourself. That was legit sure. like 10 feet past the hole. What the <laughs> heck am I doing here? We uh, need to pull ourselves together here. I don't know what the heck that was. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Thank you. Quick hello to the cart girl. We uh, loaded up. Stocked up. We stocked up at the uh, before we even played. Got some local craft beers. I'm drinking a Kolsch. 
Jess is drinking a hazy pale ale. Hazy pale ale. What is a brewery called? Uh, looks like Steve we got Martin. a looks like we got a part five here. So that's not us yeah. here. That's a, no, this is no, nine. Nine. Okay. We're, we're playing courses we don't know. We're just seeing <laughs> all of the places. Okay, this has to be us here. There. Okay. Well, that's us. That's white though. So where are you? Mm. Oh, back there. Oh, okay. First time here. Uh, can you tell we're tourists? Can you just leave the card here? No, I don't think so. Oh. No. Good news, we found the tea box. <laughs> Okay, part five. Four joys of playing a course you've never played before. It looks super narrow. There was trees left and right, and I thought I could challenge these trees left because it looked like there was more area over there. And I think I heard the click of a tree. So I guess we'll get up here and see if I'm in play or if I'm in jail. So 50-50 at this point. Okay, I was still like 3.30 coming home. Uh, pretty tight layup area, left was dead. And there was a decent breeze in our face, so I thought about hitting the Tiger Stinger. And I went a little bit higher than I was thinking, but it went straight, so that's a new shot that I'm working on. I watched a video a couple weeks ago of how Tiger hits stingers. <laughs> and like, how can you not try to hit a stinger after you've seen Tiger hit stinger? So that's really like the first time I've taken it to the course, and so far I think we're one for one, so I'll definitely take it. Looks like the ball is spinning a ton. I was definitely short of that. Again, obviously now they get closer to the green, I can tell that it was on a down slope. So I bet you that spun back 30 feet. So now not only am I on a par five and three, I got 50 feet to putt. Good shot, Jess. And the putter has been questionable as you saw in the last hole. <laughs> so a two putt here would actually be pretty darn good. So let's see if, uh, see if we can do something here. Okay, not thrilled with the result on that par five. That's probably the hardest par five I've played in a long time, even though it was relatively straight and everything left was OB, but I hit uh, a really decent shot in there and my wedge that I had just came up like a full club and a half short. And then obviously not every time you're gonna two putt from 65, 70 feet. So we gotta tighten our game up here if I uh, want a chance at breaking par. It's the end of the season, we haven't golfed in a while, so. I gotta start blaming stuff when I start making bogeys, but it uh, looks like we got no. a uh, relatively pretty par three here. It's not the workout routine this time. You remember that, eh? <laughs> okay, I think I think I know what's happening. Um, I started a new push-up routine at home, and you guys can probably tell I look pretty swollen in this video, but that's just these new push-ups. So the muscles are a little sore, that's probably why my body isn't reacting uh, as well as normal, so that's probably why I'm... Whatever you need to tell yourself, honey. No, it's the push-ups for sure, it's the push-ups. <laughs> I don't think I've done push-ups since that first vlog, and that was back in uh, like April, May. So let's go take a look at this part three. So we're three holes in, and I just clued in that we're at sea level. <laughs> Fuck, man, we're on an island. The ball doesn't go nearly as far as home. 
That's probably why I'm coming up a club short on everything. It's, it's hard to adjust, you know, when you play uh, a club at home a certain distance. And then you come somewhere and you're hitting it like a club and a half short. So I was well short on that par three. So I got to get up and down and say par. I'm not making this easy on myself. That's for sure. For a good number. So it depends on what you're talking about. No. Oh, God, I don't know. No, I stop it. Killed that joke. It was no. If the mortgage no. roll doesn't work out, you could probably do stand-up comedy part time. <laughs> oh, I hate you. Okay, let's review that haul. It was way short. Had like the optimal chip uphill, which you love uphill chips, and put it to a little taparoonie. We actually just recorded a video. I don't know if by the time I release this, it's going to be out or not, but it's a beginner chipping lesson video. So if you uh, like that result, you'll have to find that video. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe because we do a lot of not only course vlogs like this, but a lot of instructional stuff for beginners. I know a lot of people are getting into golf and uh, we do a lot of beginner stuff that if you play a little bit or you're kind of a weekend warrior, we definitely have some videos for you. Even if you're a, a mid handicap, like a you know, an intermediate golfer. All these fundamentals are definitely gonna help you guys out. So make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications. You can see all of our videos from instructional to uh, fun, entertaining vlogs like this. Okay, our local knowledge we're playing with, Conrad. He's an old family friend and lives out here on uh, Vancouver Island. So that this hole's pretty long and straight. So uh, we didn't think too much about that swing. Hit it pretty good. And if I didn't found, if I didn't find the fairway, it's just off. But this is a pretty short par four. I think it was like 370. And uh, yeah, now that we get up here, it's actually a really pretty look. Mm -hmm. I'd say the overall course review is that it's like it's one of those courses you'd want to play a couple times because you'd probably hit yeah. different shots, right? Is that fair? Yeah. So uh, it's very beautiful, but I definitely would. Uh, hit some different shots because it's some pretty tight fairways so it's beautiful we're on the island there's a ton of trees around us um the grass is still really green it rains a lot out here on vancouver island so like the ground is very wet so you kind of got to be mindful of those chunky irons or wedges but uh we got such a beautiful day out here we're filming in uh, the start of september october october oh my god all these days are turning into months start of october and the fact that it's uh you know, uh, Vancouver Island is kind of a year-round golfing uh, island, so so far so good. I could definitely play out here and uh, looking forward to exploring the island a bit more. Okay, that was by far our best look at birdie. Maybe only a little nine footer. And I saw two putts to give me some information and it just didn't do what I thought. I had it straight the whole way. And obviously it broke a little bit. So that's okay, it's coming around. And this looks like a long par three ahead. So we need to get some birdies, man. Like it's been five holes without any juice. Maybe if we- I have birdie juice. Maybe if we tasted it, get the juice. Let's get the juice and have a little Is that taste. Bad mojo, tasting it no. before you. Okay. No, 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 it's good mojo. Trust me, it's really good mojo. Ooh. So we decided to taste the juice, and then maybe the birdies will start coming. So I have my own flask. Jess has her own. Um, should we tell the audience what we're drinking? Yeah. What you got in yours? Uh, I have whiskey. And I have tequila. So a little whiskey tequila. Cheers to all of you guys. Cheers to us, and thanks for watching this video. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's get a birdie here. <laughs> oh, great shot. Okay, so the scorecard says it was 240 par three, which is huge. 240 par three, are you kidding me? Into the wind. Um, sea level? 
I was really just playing to keep it alive. In front of the green, it looks like there's a little pond. I tried to stay left and I got really aggressive. From the tee box, I think I like my line. It might be actually pretty decent. It might be a shot of the day here. Hard to tell when we get up there, but uh, yeah, like hitting a two hybrid <laughs> into a par three, that's a big ask. So we'll have to get up the green and see how we finished. Man, I desperately wanted that putt. It was actually a ladies par four. So ladies par four, men's par five, 245 at the pin. I was severely downhill, so I knew the putt was gonna be fast. And I really tried to just die it down there and it rolled out and you saw how far it went, five feet, six feet past. Lucky to make that putt coming home, but I really wanted to birdie that. A birdie there would have felt like an eagle anywhere else. It's I'm hardly ever, I never hit a hybrid into a par four. So it hit a hybrid eight. 240 straight <laughs> we'll take that and i guess par is obviously not a bad score could have been a big one but the fact that we had to look at birdie would have been nice so we're still trying to find that elusive birdie so hopefully uh, we, we tasted the juice and hey that was probably my best shot of the day so might have to just keep sipping on the birdie juice <laughs> with the results uh, to be a par or, or maybe better so looks like we got another pretty short par uh, par four coming up right here Finding it really difficult to uh, adjust to the yardage difference. I had 130 to so that last pin, and all I had was a gap wedge. So I played, I played my normal yardage, thinking I'd at least be you know, just short of a pin, and it's like almost short of the green. So it's frustrating. It's like you look at something, and you're like, "No way, can I hit it full club more than normal?" And uh, the course is different, so I'm gonna have to start adjusting here as I keep playing because I haven't been longer than the pin with an iron yet, I don't think. So we gotta save par here. Okay, for a short part four, that green definitely uh, made the hole a lot harder. That pin almost felt like an Ironman pin, but there was no stopping the ball above the hole. And as you can see, I rolled out to like 15, 20 feet, <laughs> which is so frustrating. Um, another bogey. I think we might have to have another sip of that birdie juice. Let's open your birdie juice. Birdie juice, AKA bogey juice. This'll, this, this will get us back on track to playing decent golf. Okay, I still can't believe how the ball is going absolutely nowhere with my irons. Um, I just had a 150 yard shot and it uh, I went two clubs up and I think I'm pin high, so hopefully we can sink a putt here. 
Okay, so far that was the prettiest green. It was really chilly up there. You can tell there's not a lot of sun coverage, Ooh. but to see that nice big waterfall, that was just uh, beautiful. Um, still can't get a birdie. Like, I can't believe, like, I really feel like I'm babying some putts and they're going like four or five feet past. So thank God I'm making the comeback putt, but uh, still haven't had a look at a birdie. So I, I'm not sure what we got to do here. We're gonna have to play it again, I think. We'll mm -hmm. come back for a second time, but uh, really fun course. Okay, par five, we hit a good one. So hopefully uh, now that we have a good drive in, uh, we'll have a look at birdie because we need one. <laughs> it's been a, uh, I think we're three over right now and this is the ninth hole. So I definitely know we need a new nine, but uh, if we can start here, we can turn it around a little early. So if we can get on in two and you know, I'll take a two putt. We've had a lot of two putts minus one hole, I guess. But Your second putts are fantastic. Yeah, like make it, make it a lot of four and five footers, but the 12 and 14 footers I have looks at aren't doing much. So uh, I can't wait to see what the... the Okay, we just saw our first uh, look at some wildlife. Saw some two nice little deer on the side of a hill. And, little baby uh, bambies. We must see a ton of golfers because they did not give a flying fuck that we were uh, hitting a ball around them. You probably pet them if you wanted. Don't recommend it. Um, I think I hit that par five and two. I hope anyway. I think you did. I think you're. Hopefully we got a putt and uh, we can make birdie here. Just find out. Okay, good news. We finally got a birdie. It took nine holes and we uh, got that par five, made the two putt. So we're all energized. We got a, a sandwich and a coffee crisp. Our American followers have probably never even seen one of these. This might be the best chocolate bar and I think you can only get them in Canada. So we're ready for our new nine. So new nine, we need, we need some more birdies on that new nine. So let's go have some fun. How, how's your round going? I have no idea. I've stopped caring. <laughs> one of those rounds. Here we go, onto the 10th tee box.